Welcome back to IBM Business Automation Studio, your one-stop experience for automating and digitally transforming your business using low-code tooling. In this video series, we'll create a mortgage approval application that uses automation services from business automation workflow and decision services. Automation services represent a set of published callable services that can be discovered and reused in a consistent way. So, Business Automation Workflow will provide a service for opening mortgage accounts, and Decision Services will provide a service for loan risk assessments. This first video demonstrates how to preview existing application accelerators for building applications, how to base an application on a template, and how to start customizing your application with Application Designer. To get started, let's head over to Studio. From the homepage, you can access Applications, Automation Services, and three out-of-the-box template accelerators. You can quickly get started by creating an application based on one of these templates. You can also preview each template to get an idea for their look and feel. Let's quickly preview this template. This is a great way to see if you want to use a particular template for the basis of your business application. This is the onboarding template accelerator that could help you get started building an onboarding business application. You can actually interact with the template while previewing. When you're finished, simply switch back to your Studio tab. For the purposes of this demo, we're going to use a different template. So let's head over to Applications and then click Templates. Any available templates are listed here for our use. We can see a mortgage approval template which we'll use to create our application. We'll click the template, we can see some details about the actual template itself. And now we'll click New Application. We'll give our application a name. We won't worry about the description in this case. And then we'll click Create. Think of the designer as your canvas for creating low-code business automation user interfaces. On the right, we have a library of components. You'll find out-of-the-box, platform-based UI components, as well as automation services. We can search or filter these components, then drag them onto the page to start customizing the application. We can switch between three responsive UI form factors, which allow us to see our application in various resolutions. Now, since our application is based on a template, the canvas is already primed with key components to help us get started. We've got an image for our top banner and some content boxes that we can later populate to build our user experience which we'll get to in the next video, where we'll explore the out-of-the-box and custom views and discover automation services to start adding the back-end logic to our application. We'll see you there. Bye for now.